Hi, it's Jess here from nigesta.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. So you might remember these circular tags that I made from some packaging, um, from some parcel tapes, and I showed you that I'd actually made an envelope um, that these could slip into. And um, I uh, didn't have time to... The video was getting quite long, so I said I'd bring you a separate video for for the envelope. So here it is. So I need, um, I used music sheets. So I used this music paper. It's quite thin. It's from a book. It's about a hundred years old. So um, so yeah, it's quite quite thin. So I'm going to back it now. On this one, I backed on coffee dyed paper. I put some extra washi um on um on this bit for the because it felt like that was going to be strained a bit and then on the back I decoupage I decoupaged I collaged um on on the back um whereas on the front of these I used my printed sheet so I thought well, why don't I just back it on a printed sheet and, and then there it is. So I've got one that I'm not happy with. Um, and I thought, well, that's OK, because it's mostly going to get covered up. So um, I'm going to I'm going to cut this down uh, so that I don't waste too much. So I'm going to take the edging off. Like so. Um, it needs to be. Four and five eighths wide by eight inches. So I'll take the bottom off. And we'll go to eight inches. So obviously if you were making this and you had slightly different size tags then you'd have to adjust your your envelope that can go back in my scrap pile so i'm going to just stick stick this to that so i'm going to use some glue stick as well as some wet glue Just run that all over. Possibly glue stick on its own would be enough. I never quite, never quite trust it. There we go. And then we'll just put a little bit of this on as well. This is collar. I have it in a sugar bell as well as this little needle point one. Look at my festival bracelet, the ends. I was like, when we got them, I was like, oh, posh bracelets this year. Haven't had, haven't had uh, the festival for three years. I was like, oh, let's push the boat out. And uh, I, uh, yeah, I thought, oh, I like that. I wear it a bit like a proper saddo, as if I'm young, down with the youth, wearing the festival bracelets. They kind of collect them, don't they? They have like them all going up their arm. But this is probably it. Well, they have that and they have buttlings. <laughs> Not sure that I really want to necessarily advertise everywhere I go that I've been to buttlings. <laughs> it's not quite the same, is it? Oh dear. There we go. Oh, one idiot. One idiot. I'd written on that to say, am I too late? I am. I'll cover it. I'll put something on it. Some of it might come off anyway. That was me telling me that I'd messed with the colour settings and everything and didn't like it. So don't do it. Oh dear, that's me talking about 
talking about rubbish. What caused that, Jess? Try and concentrate. There we go. So now we've got a much, much sturdier bit of paper that we're working on. It's on the inside. What I'm talking about It's probably not going to be a problem, actually, as long as I make sure that's not... That's not the side with the envelope, but that's the side with the envelope flip. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. It's the inside, there you go. There we go, right. So you could follow this to just make the envelope, never mind the circular tag. It's a bit like CD envelope. They're quite popular. So we are gonna score half an inch down each side, that's going to be our, our turning, half an inch. I'm going to flip it because it's a funny width, half an inch. And then we're going to score so this is going to be, we're going to score at three and five eighths So this is going to be the flap at seven and a quarter. So that's the flap. So we're all right. We're not going to see that bit. There we go. So we're going to give all that fold and burnish. Depending on the glue you use, you might want to wait a bit to make sure it's fully dry before you start messing like this. Or you just use thicker paper. You could use scrapbook paper to do this. So that's going to come up like that. That's going to come down like that. So that is I probably feels like I need to cut a smidge off that. So we want, we want to cut notches here. What I do is I fold my paper in half. I want to do a notch here and you just, from that score line to the end, just do a little notch. Like that. That gives us the fold that we require to fold it up like so there we go there is a slight bit of cracking there on the paper that's because it's so old which is why I've reinforced it with this which is why on here because it had already cracked on this side I put some washi tape um, and now we need to cut these bits I'm going to get my bigger scissors to do that down okay and on that side cut it down just along the score line cut it down and then that will that'll be reap and then we want to cut you can either just round the corners on the envelope, or as I've done, I got little slants, and I think what I did was I took a new punch. I think I might have used this. No, it came down too far, so I didn't didn't use that. I just think I did the old-fashioned way. I've cut a slit. Like that. So that's come off like that. You turn it over, put it on the other side, and use it as a template for cutting your slant on the other side, and then they'll match. Good to do it with a pair of glasses on. 
Um, I'm just going to cut the corners down here. See if that stops the... Oh, that feels like that's slightly too long. Just going to cut a smidge off that. Smidge being... A recognised unit of measurement. <laughs> I'll take a smidge more off. There we go. I think actually looking, what I did on this one was I did actually cut it down a little bit of a slant. But that will do on there. And I'm going to thumb notch it, so I'm going to take my one and a half inch eyeball, there we go. Nice one. Right, so that's, that's that bit. And now we need our circle. these bits our circle for our front okay let me just take my my tag so that one was made for that one so this one's made for this one let's just double check it's all fit in yep got nice room to move there we go that go in there yep so now we need to cut our circle for the front so I use some circular dies for this. You might have a really big circle um, punch. I have cut it. It is. It's like two and seven eighths. So it's almost three inches, but not quite. Um, I don't have a circle punch that big. I think two and a quarter, maybe two and a half. Might have a two and a half inch circle punch, which I could use, it would just be a bit smaller. But I used my circle dies, I think I used this one. Yeah, I did. So that is going to cut out there. And what I did find was that I did need to do a bit of trimming on that, but we'll do that afterwards. So I'm just going to cut this out now. There we are. So that is, that's done. So I've now got another circle there. I could turn that into a circular tag. I won't chuck it away. And um, as you can see, you do see a little bit of that corner. Not a problem. I just drew around it. Just drew on it there with my pencil. So that I could just cut those little tiny bits off before I stick it down. I just went slightly the other side of the pencil line. So I knew that it definitely wouldn't get seen. Now I eyeballed it to be in the centre. I'm slightly out. But it's a junk journal, so nobody worries about that in the junk journal world. There we go, we can't see it now. So that's all sorted. So we need to give that all an ink up round the edges before we stick it down. Otherwise, we'll never get that inked there. So soft suede. And I might use, I was going to say I might use a dauber, but I'm not going to use this. So you do need to make sure you ink up this circle before we stick it together. And we're going to add a little bit of film there. Now, 
for that bit you could use acetate if you wanted to um, which I did think about but I felt it was a little bit too stiff so I have used just cellophane on mine okay so that's that done so now I'm going to go around all the rest of the edges now that that's done so I'll speed it up a bit whilst I'm doing that So that's it all inked and to further distress it we're going to do a bit of stamping so i've got ranunculus romance out mounted that one that one and that one my sort of firm favorites and um just gonna i might use this no i won't because i'm gonna do a bit of inking so just bring in this and we're gonna do a bit do a bit of stamping that's going to be upside down but I'm not bothered about that I need to re-ink your soft suede going to do some decorating on the back here as well there we go I'm going to bring in some early espresso now put on some postmarks flap here there we go that'll, that'll work might put some on the inside of here as well Do we see that bit at the top? See a little tiny tad of that. So if we do that, yeah, scars do nicely, that did. There we go. And then I'm just going to bash me light. Gonna do a bit of a bit of inking. So that's that bit done. So now we need to cut some cellophane for there. So I'm just gonna get a cellophane bag. There. So I often get them, you can get things with cellophane bags and uh, I don't chuck them away I keep them so I'm gonna cut that there excuse me reaching across so no measuring just cut it there cut it there I'll actually have two then and to be fair I've probably got in my drawer a spare bit from the last one oh this is on the corner I might leave it doubled actually <clears throat> bit stronger if I leave it doubled 
put that back in my drawer. It might be useful for someone else. So, as I've got it doubled, I'm gonna, I can't remember how I stuck it down if I did it with double sided tape or with glue. I'm gonna see if Carlisle will glue it. I might use my glasses. glue all over me mat. Let's see if that gonna stick. Don't feel like it's oozed out. So that's gives it a little bit of a I think I just did it double, you know, single last time, but that's uh, that's pretty good. That I'm gonna put some tape. That's too thick. I've got some really thin red liner tape, but not not where I want it. Found it. So. So I'm going to put this along here. I used to use red liner tape all the time. I hardly ever use it now. So that's a bit further to edge, but it doesn't matter because that's going to get stuck down anyway. As I made this quite a while ago, I can't remember how I glued it originally. And I didn't write it down. I just wrote down the measurements. Give it all a good rub. Like that. that does seem to have stuck. I'd have probably been all right gluing that on. I might put some in the middle bits. So now I'm going to get my pokey tool and pull off. These annoying red plastic strips, which is partly why I stopped using it because I don't like single use plastic and I do tend to not use it. But there is, I have rolls, I've not bought any new for years and years and years, but. I had such a huge stash of it, which I bought from some crafting, big crafting event in Doncaster. I used to go to every summer at the race course. And um, that's when I used to stock up, stock up on tape and stuff. And you'd get 
It was like a pound a roll. Or 12 for a tenner. Something like that. And I'd get the I'd get like the 12 for a tenner. There we go. And then we we'll just stick that down. This is where the placement is crucial actually because if I don't cover all that red line tape it will just stick to the pocket. I'm going to get a bit of washing, go over the top of that because it's not quite stuck down. Uh, a bit of glue down because I don't trust washi either. Love this washi, stamping up washi. So I'll put that across it will also strengthen the um strengthen the fold, which might be actually one of the reasons why I did it on the other. Because the same thing happened, quite possibly. There we go. It's all sorted. So now all we've got to do is put glue on these flaps and glue our envelope down and that's our CD envelope. I didn't do anything to close it because I wasn't sure what I was going to do, whether it was going to be floating or, or what. So I left the envelope. It could be a flip out. But yeah, I chose to leave it as it was. And now we'll take our little tag and it will fit in the pocket nicely. And you can still see the tag on the inside. I'm gonna let it dry properly though. Or I mess with that. I was just showing that it that it does. So on this one, I left the front as it was because the decoration is the tag, really. If it goes in, so it doesn't need anything else on the front. But I did do a little bit of decoration on the back because I, you know, hadn't. I thought, well, it's probably not going to get stuck down because it's got a flap on it, and that would be. That would be hard so it would be a floaty thing so we can put a nice little decoration on the back like that and um so i'm just gonna get the little bits so i found a few bits and um oh that's my mirror wins upside down it's fine now found a few bits um so i'm gonna do something similar um, so I've got a bit of a doily, I might ink, it's already been a little bit inked, I might make it a little bit darker. So I've got that New York Post Office, quite like the look of that going across there. Uh, sticker under there, got a bit of an old document, I love that there. Uh, postage stamp. It's upside down, just stick a stamp there. Uh, got a bit of a ticket. Uh, 
on a bit of a date stamp quite like that don't need those so i will stick them all down So there it is, all finished. And what I like about Calal, because it doesn't um, grab instantly, you can glue things down and then you can still shove things behind. So that's that. So now that should be dry at the sides. So we can stick that inside it now and that is my CD envelope ready to pop in a journal yeah. so I hope you like that and I say you can just make the CD envelope even if you haven't got that tag and use it for a square tag um, to pop in a journal no, CD envelopes are quite popular, um, but I'm not sure that they're necessarily um, easy to buy now. I knew I had a packet and um, tidying up my room, I found I found my packet. I actually found them in a drawer that was labelled CD envelopes. Who would have thought it, eh? Who would have thought it? So there we go. Hope you like that. Um, I will link down below to... The stamps, the ink, the blending brushes, you know, the things that I use that you can buy from my stamping up shop. And um, yeah, and I'll see you all again soon with another uh, video. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share and all those other YouTube things. Much appreciated. Thank you.